And the marking continues with the word vemes. Ella, rather, vemes. What do we learn from the word vemes? By a machteret, b'chol misa, sha'ata yachal hamiso. He may kill the thief, the intruder, by any means of death. Lamely, why not teach this idea? We can learn it out from a murderer. Why does the Torah have to give me a special word of vemes? We could possibly learn it out from the law of Rotseach. Titania, we learned in a brisa. The Torah states, Most you must hamakia rotseachu. You should surely put to death the one who is a rotseach, the one who has premeditated murder, killing in mind. Most you must, you should surely put him to death. And what the, the brisa continues, Ainly elamisa haburabo. We may only kill the thief according to the way the Torah said we should kill him. What if you're not able to kill the thief according to the Torah's way? How do you know that you're allowed, Rashai, to kill the thief by any means? You may kill the thief by any means, Talmud Lomer, because we learn from the words, Mos Yumas. You should surely put him to death. The double lashon stresses that you, if you're not able to kill the thief, execute the thief according to the way the Torah said, you're still allowed to kill him. Bikol makom, any which way. Good. So here we see we have a proof from Rotzeach. A Rotzeach you can kill any way. So can't we say also the, the machteret, the thief who comes through the tunnel, who might want to kill us, that we should be able to learn it from that, that we should be able to kill him any way we want. Why does the Torah have to give me a special word of vomes? So we say, Shani Hasam. The case of Rutzeach is different. Why? Because the Pasik says, Most you must, you should surely kill him. The Nigma Mine, and from this we learn, Mishim Dahava Rutzeach, Vigal Hadam. In the case of Rutzeach and a Goel Hadam, a Goel Hadam is someone who avenges the blood of a family member. Shnei suvim habon ke'echad. In both places by Rutzeach and Goel Hadam, the Torah uses this lashon of Mos Yumas. And if we have a rule that when we use the same words by two psukim, we can only learn that law specifically for each category, for the Rotseach and for the Gohol Adam, and cannot be extrapolated or applied to other areas of law. Again, when you have the most you must by Rotseach, and it's also mentioned by Gohol Adam, Shnei Suvim, these two Psukim, Habon Ke'echad, are like one. It means they're very specific learnings and teachings that only apply specifically to Rotseach and Gohol Adam and may not be applied to other areas of where we may have to execute someone. When we have two psukim who are very similar in their teachings, they are considered like one of the and we do not apply them to other areas of learning. So we cannot apply it to machteret, to our case, and the Torah has to make a specific extra word in the Torah of Vermes to teach us that Mechol Misa Sha'at Yachal Hamiso. You don't have to think twice about how you're going to kill the thief. You just want to stop him in his tracks. Great.